Skywalker plus Star Kids and Drugs next ET. Two days to the premiere of the most controversial show on TV. All new Big Brother CBS Thursday. Hey, hon. Hey, what you doing? Oh, you're cooking. Did you see Mom? Yes, I did. There's no change. Did you uh, see your doctors? I talked to Ben Harris. He said he's not sure how much damage your mother has suffered in terms of nerve damage. But the burn specialist was there, and he said the skin grafts are holding, so that's some good news, right? I'm making Mom's potato salad. Oh, I thought we might have a picnic today. Hey. I got home from Little League. Great. Yeah, I, uh... No, I woke up this morning with the image of Mom in my head making this potato salad every year. And I just felt like crying. That's okay. That's, that's good. Hey, this looks great. Give me a spoon. Mm -hmm. Let me try this. I don't even know the recipe. I just started peeling and then just tried to copy every move Mom made. And... What's wrong? Mom? It's crunchy. Did I forget something? Maybe your mom cooks them a little longer. Right. Supposed to cook them. You know, but they're very interesting. How that way. stupid was this? You know, the salad tastes exactly like well, your mom's. Mom should be here making it instead of me. Oh, come on, Jen, honey. It's really fine. You... Hey. Um, What's wrong? Nothing. Jen was just trying to make her mother's potato salad, and I tasted it, and oh, it is... Oh, it's awful. Yeah. Oh. Normally, we'd be rolling on the floor about it, but she's sick to death about her mother, and I didn't help matters, because I kind of made fun of it. Well, if you really want to help your family, start doing what you do best. <laughs> and what is that? I forgot. Figure out who really tried to kill Barbara. What do you want, Rosie? Well, I'm here to deliver a message from Lucinda. Couldn't bear to come or so? She's in the Big Apple on business. She flew to New York so soon after Holden and Luke? Don't dig. All right, don't bother. Here is the message. Your bouncing baby boy, his trust fund, comes due this week. You better be warming up a, a, a deposit slip to replace the money that you stole from him. An ultimatum? Or this attempted murder rap that you're facing right now is just the beginning of a very miserable life for you. Capiche? God, that looked good. Goodbye. You bought in, didn't you, Rosie? Excuse me? She's got you barking like a train seal. I won't even dignify that. OK. OK, but tell me, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Hello. Well, my goodness, hey. look who's here. Faith, Hello. do you smell apples and cinnamon? <laughs> yes. You know what that means? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, delicious pie. Yes, and you're just in time. And look what I was just making. I was making a special little pie for some special little person. <laughs> I don't think she's talking about me. It's for you. Let's see. Half of Luther's corners is going pounding on my door in just a bit, and I, I don't have these fillings made. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, let me get you a little, a little spoon here. Oh, here we go. Still, still having your Fourth of July party? Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do my best. I thought you would have skipped it this year. Well, I'm just trying to do something relatively normal, you know, trying to keep my hands busy at least. They say that uh, the time moves on, and I'm doing my best to believe that. I'll get an apron. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Rose was going to be my official apple peeler, but she had an errand to run. Oh, 
Actually, I came by to ask you a favor. Anything. Anything. Would you mind watching Faith for a few days? I, I, I have to go out of town. It's, well, of course I wouldn't mind. It'd be my pleasure to watch that beautiful little girl. Every time I look at her, I, I see Holden's eyes. I know. So is everything all right? Where are you going? Malta. Malta? Is this about Damien? Does he still have relatives there? I think he's there. What? What did you just say? I wasn't even going to say anything to you when I came here today. But I just don't think that Holden and Luke are alive. I know they are. They're out there somewhere, Emma, and they just need me to find them. Lily. Lily, please, please don't do this to me. And don't do this to yourself. Sweetheart, you have to let them go. As the World Turns is brought to you by Jif. For more fresh roasted peanut taste, choosy moms choose Jif. After reviewing the standards file, why is it going, Mom? Your mom hasn't studied in a long time. Mom, do you want anything? Not now, honey. Okay. It's more than just that great peanut taste. Choosing Jif is a small, simple way of letting someone know you care. That in case you needed a break or something. You made that for me? Moms like you choose Jeff. I've always been a fighter, and I don't like to lose. So when I found out I could lose up to 25% of my bone due to menopause, you bet I was going to fight back. I had a strong ally who prescribed Actinel, our weapon. Actinel can reverse bone loss and helps your bones become more fracture resistant. Only Actinel is proven to reduce spinal fractures in the very first year. Actinel is a non-hormonal prescription medicine for postmenopausal women at risk for osteoporosis. You should not take Actinel if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for 30 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Actinel and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. Find out if you're at risk for osteoporosis. Then ask your doctor if Actinel is right for you. By this time next year, you can have more fracture-resistant bones. Act now with Actinel. Who knows fresh taste? The fishermen at San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf. Hi, fishermen. Okay, now we have two tunas here. One's from the can. One's from Starkist in the Flavor Fresh Pouch. As a fresh expert, well, which actually, looks better to you? I can tell you. Oh. That looks fresher. Oh, it's very good tuna. That's the one that tastes fresh pot. The Starkist tuna in the Flavor Fresh Pouch uh -huh. yeah, is much better. Darkest tuna in the Flavor Fresh Pouch. It's the people who know fresh. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. But Colgate Total is different. It protects for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Aren't you glad you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Know how to spot a diehard battery owner? Look for their jumper cables. Die Hard. 30 years of starting power. How much do you trust your battery? Tonight on 60 Minutes 2. First, the Navy said this pilot was killed in the Gulf War. Now it's not so sure. Is Scott Spiker alive today? The story tonight at 9, 8 Central. It's a 4th of July special holiday treat tomorrow on The Early Show. What is this, some new spin for tomorrow morning's front page? No, it's not about a story. It's about your doubts. 
You said that maybe Craig isn't the one who planted the bomb, and the more I think about it, the more I think you're right. That's before we found out he was at the scene, Emily. Okay, well, forget about all that, all right, Hal, and go with your gut. You got this little devil here sitting on your shoulder. One, one Craig to be so guilty, you're ready to go out and get a law degree just so you could prosecute the guy. But over here, you got a little angel detective sitting on your shoulder, the one with the halo. This little detective carries a 38, not a halo. Oh, well, just the same. He's still whispering in your ear. Maybe Craig isn't the one. Emily, he was there. Forensics has a footprint, and it's a match to Craig's Okay, shoes. fine, fine. We know he was at the boathouse the night the bomb exploded. We know that. The real question is, where was he exactly? Cui bono. What? Cui bono, Latin for who benefits. It's the first question that every detective asks. Right, okay, so we're talking motive. Mm -hmm. And who had more motive to want Barbara dead than Craig Montgomery? You know what? You still haven't answered my question. Which was? Where do they find Craig's footprints? Away from the boathouse in the woods. Not inside, where the explosives were planted. Even if he didn't plant the bomb, he is still guilty of a crime because he saw what happened. He turned tail and ran. He knew Barbara had to be hurt. Fine, so that makes him a coward. Does it make him guilty of the crime? Does it make him guilty of planting the bomb? No, and yes, that question had occurred to me. Yes. See, you, you can't help being a good cop, Hal. All right, now add to that, Craig's the kind of guy who pays other people to do the technical stuff. You know, the guy couldn't find a dipstick in his car, much less construct a bomb. You see my point? It's beginning to dawn on me. He said, begrudgingly. <laughs> okay, I'm not a cop. But you know what I would do if I were? Look for other people with motive. You got it. So would it hurt to start thinking who else could have planted that bomb? So what's the big payday? Not that I would tell you anything that Lucinda shares with me, but I will get something in the end. <laughs> yeah, you might. I am Lily's sister. She's not going to Welsh on me. Mm -mm. I was her daughter's husband. I was the father of her grandchildren. And what do you think I got? What you deserve, you lump. Don't compare the two of us. It's like apples and hammers. I tried just as hard as you, Rosie. But if you don't do what Lucinda wants, when she wants it, how she wants it... Mm. Stop it, Craig. You're bringing a tear to me eye. I feel lucky just to know Lucinda. Whatever I get out of this, it's more than where I came from. Okay, Rosie. Why don't we have this conversation again in a few years? Maybe back on the boardwalk in oh, Jersey. You are a bitter little twist, aren't you? Do not blame Lucinda for your problems. You did that all by yourself. Lucinda did not make you steal from your little boy. She didn't make your new wife go kaboom so you could steal her money. No, people like you make your own beds. Rosie, you know that you will never truly matter to Lucinda. Just make sure you pay back your little boy's money. Excuse me. You know, if I were a loan shark, your apples would have been crushed by my hammer already. What do you want? Listen, we need to talk. Will you come by this afternoon? I don't think that's gonna... W Lily, I have been so worried about you ever since you ran out of the memorial service. Sweetheart, I know your heart must be breaking, but... but this kind of denial, I, I knew that you react this way. But I can't keep anything from you. There is no doubt in my mind, that Holden and Luke survived. Oh, I, 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 I can barely stand I'm sorry, you say that. but you have to hear what I have to say. No, no, I don't. I don't want to hear. And especially not in front of the baby. Please. I have proof that Damien called a boat rental place. I spoke to the owner, and he finally admitted that Damien paid him to moor a speedboat on Lake Michigan. So, Holden and Luke were on that launch. 
They were supposed to be headed to Damien's yacht, but Damien must have sensed the, 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 the launch another way to the speedboat. Uh, that's how they got away. How do you, how do you know this? There were no bodies. Emma, will the police explain that? Uh, Holden left me a sign. What, what kind of a sign? A lollipop. Oh, uh, look, Faith got a lollipop from her pediatrician. She didn't finish it, so Holden put it in his pocket. He had that in his pocket the night of the explosion. Simon tracked down the speedboat I was just talking about, and that lollipop was stuck to the seat. Simon, Simon Fraser's some kind of investigator now. I mean, you, you, have you talked to the police about I this? I am working with a detective in, in Chicago, and also Jack agreed to do a DNA test on the lollipop. It was Faith's lollipop. Emma, uh, the police don't think it's enough to go on, but I do. Lily. Lily, this is crazy. You know, this is crazy. Do you, do you realize what you're saying? I know what I feel. Look, I, I would do anything. I would sell my soul to have Luke and Holden come back, Lily. But Lily, listen to me. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry you feel that way. Lily, Lily, you were facing this entire fantasy on someone's finding a child's lollipop. How did it get there? How did it end up in a speedboat in Kenosha? The police didn't even know anything about that speedboat. I, I don't know. I've been in love with Holden since I was 15 years old. 15. 15. And I knew the day that I met him that I would have him in my life at some level until the day that he died. I don't have to search my soul to know that he is out there somewhere. I feel like he has his hand on my shoulder and he's guiding me. And my son, I gave birth to Luke. Wouldn't I know if he oh, were, Lily, Lily, were gone? Lily. Please. Just listen. I feel what I'm feeling. Your son, my husband, is alive. And Luke is with him somewhere. Lily? Lily, I want you to stop this now. I want you to use your head. And I want you to realize that those people who blew up that yacht are still out there. You know, they have no problem killing an eight-year-old boy. And if they know you're walking around, snooping around, asking for questions, what? What do you imagine that they will do to you? You okay, buddy? I'm okay. Don't you worry, we're gonna have you untied. Just a minute here. Hey, guys, that was a beautiful tour, but uh, next time, can we do it without the blindfolds? Well, hey, it's not a redundo. What? They don't speak any English. See how that gives us the advantage? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, they don't speak any English, but I can speak Italian. For real? For real, buddy. Hey, excuse me. What's this? Buongiorno. Hey, Cafone Rozzo, senti un po'. Ci sarà di alimento fresco ogni giorno. Se provate a fugar e comunicare con il mondo esterno, tu e il ragazzo sarete ammazzate. Capite? Whatever you say, guys. Bye bye, ladies. Hey, Dad, you speak Italian. What did those guys say? Now you can feel just showered fresh. Anytime, anywhere. Hi. New shower to shower refreshing body cloths. Show off your curls. Say goodbye to dry, frizzy hair with new Curl Vive by L'Oreal Paris. Deeply hydrating shampoos, conditioners, and spray gel for 95% less frizz. For more shape, shine, and definition. The Curl Vive system by L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. It's all about you. It's not about me. He's the voice of passion. There is no one more beautiful than He's you. He's the voice of me. love. Here and now, I promise to love 
presenting the best of Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross on two CDs or cassettes for just $19.99. Order with your credit card and get a free bonus album of Luther Classics. Always and forever. That's three beautiful albums for just $19.99. You got me going in circles. Then, audition other great love collections, satisfaction guarantee. I'm a human baby, so order with your credit card and get three beautiful albums. Call 1-800-896-9922 to order the best of Luther Vandross for $19.99 for two CDs or two cassettes. Use your credit card and receive a free bonus CD or cassette. Or send $19.99 plus $3.99 shipping and handling to Luther Vandross, Department 2, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. You look worried, buddy. Don't be worried. What'd that guy say? He said how well we were playing the game. In fact, he said we were playing so well that they had to bump us up to game level 15. Really? That's pretty high. Oh, yeah. That's why we're in this room. Game was so easy that they had to make it a little tougher on us. This is the master player's room. Expert level. You mean like the video games I play at home? Precisely. Whoa, I never won an expert level before. Well, that's because you never played with your old man before, that's why. But don't we need guns? Those guys had pistols. Hey, you think those guns were real? Yeah. They weren't real. Would I let you play violent video games at home? No. So I'm not gonna let you play them here either. Those guns, they were just... They were just for show. They're fake? Oh, yeah. Probably... water guns. That's all. Come on, buddy. Let's see what we got here. You hungry? Wow, take a look at this. We've got some Italian fresh bread, Italian salami, cheese, fresh fruit. We've got some real Italian sodas. You think those guys would be giving us this food if they were real bad guys? I guess not. And what about those sleeping bags over there? They look pretty comfy too, right? You still want to play this game with me, right? Kinda. Kinda? All right, I'll take kinda. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave the food here, and we're gonna look around, check the place out, and you tell me what you see, all right? Nothing much. Remember, this is the master player's expert level room. It's gotta be a way out of here. It's definitely a way out. We just don't see it right away. But there are no windows. They saw the place had windows. Hey, I told you, they don't wanna make it easy on us. If it's too hard, how are we supposed to figure out where we are? We will. What if we don't? How are we going to let Mom know where, where to find us? I know. I, I don't want you to worry. I will go to Malta. I will track down Damien, I promise. How do you know he's there? Simon found out all the incoming calls to the boat rental place the days before the explosion. There was a number, an international cell phone number. It was Damien's. We called the number and Damien answered the phone. Are you sure? I'm positive. He spoke in Italian. Then he hung up. I tried to call back and he didn't answer again, but it was him. Well, even if it's true, you know, Malta is Damien's home country, and if he doesn't want to be found... I mean, what are you going to do over there? How, who's going to help you find I'll do him? everything I can. Everything. I have enough money I can pay off the entire Maltese police department if I have to. Does Lucinda know about this? No. I haven't told her 
Yes, she had to go out of town to New York for a few days. I wanted to be gone before she came back. Because you know, you know that she'll try to stop you. I mean, risking your, your whole life on a hunch. I mean, she's not going to support that, Lily. This is not some vague intuition. No, I forgot. I forgot this proof. Simon Fraser, a man who manipulated... He's... I asked him to help me. He doesn't even know that I'm going to Malta. This is a decision that I made on my own. And what about your daughter? Have you considered her? Absolutely. I have to do everything I can to bring her father and her brother home. You know, she does have one parent left here at home. Are you going to be so selfish as to risk that? What kind of mother would I be if I didn't do anything? What if Luke and Holden are out there somewhere praying, praying for help? What if something happens to him and I have done nothing? Lily, Lily, listen to me, listen to me. Something has happened. They die. No. No, I don't believe that. And I will not raise my daughter alone, knowing that I could have saved her family, and I did nothing. Hey, everybody! You two having a powwow? I sense a little tension. I, I, I see that there's nothing. Nothing I can say to change your mind. Do you know about this? It depends on what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I do. I know. I know about it. And you're going to let your sister go to Malta alone and... You want me to put my two cents in? I will, okay? Uh, if you go, and I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but if you go, you got to face the possibility that you might not come back. Oh, come on, Emily. You must have better things to do than to hang around here and work up some profile on some mad bomber. No, Emily, Daniel's with Kim and Bob, and I've got nothing but time, so humor me. Okay. Let's go over everything we know about the bomb. Well, the forensics expert from Chicago, she had a lot to say. The kind of device used was the same kind of device that special forces used in the 60s. Oh, right. Special forces, with that? Special forces. Every branch of the military has a specially trained unit. You know, the green berets belong to the army. The navy has the seals. Okay, fine. Then that's great. Then that's where we'll start. I'll, I'll contact the research department at my paper and have them crank out a list of people who fit the description. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of manpower and a lot of time, Emily. And let's get real anyway. Barbara didn't have any real enemies. You're kidding, right? Nobody wanted her dead. Come on, Craig Montgomery's the only one with any real love. Okay, so is that the cop saying that? Or the guy who just lost his wife to another man? Presenting the best holding sea bond ever. New sea bond, a unique comfort thin seal with three powerful adhesives. The best holding sea bond ever. Sir. Can I please have some of that new, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium? I'm afraid we only serve that in the mega ultra platinum first class. <laughs> Presenting new, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium. With real sweet cream for a rich creamy taste. New, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium. Outrageously great taste. I'm a plumber. Which foamer works better on slow drains? Read the label. Drano foamer says, wait eight hours. Liquid plumber foaming pipe snake takes just one hour to clear drains and to clean pipe walls, too. That's why this liquid plumber's way better. I don't want to go jogging. I don't want to play hockey. All I want are nights with less pain, mornings with less stiffness. So Bo and I can go out early and catch up with all our friends. Vioxx is here. A prescription medicine for the most common type of arthritis pain, osteoarthritis. With one little pill taken just once a day, Vioxx can provide powerful 24-hour relief. People with allergic reactions such as asthma to aspirin or other arthritis medicines should not take Vioxx. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. For more information, talk to your doctor about Once Daily Vioxx for the relief of osteoarthritis pain. And you may be able to plan your day around your life instead of your pain. 
Ask your doctor if Vioxx is right for you. Vioxx, for everyday victories. I wish I could have an organic experience. You've never had one? I love herbal essences, but I need intense conditioning. Honey, meet your new best friend. New herbal essences intensive blends. Creamier, vitamin enriched. Improves hair's condition up to 85%. It's our first time. Working! New herbal essences intensive blends. Guys, the bottle says repeat. Every day they're dashing. Paradise awaits. Dangerous. I'm gonna be the nightmare that they never wake up from. And to die for. You're all worried about wearing me out. This summer, don't miss these bad boys. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Because what they do next is everything. Only on CBS Daytime. What's the latest on Mad Cow? Before you fire up your holiday barbecue, see an Eye on America update on this dangerous disease tonight on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Wedding is supposed to be the happiest time. The bride is suing her maid of honor. She needed a shoulder to fry on. I was going through a hard time, too. No, you weren't going through a hard time. You're getting married. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. Verizon is now offering great rates on all direct dial long distance calls. So you can call Canada for just seven cents a minute. Call the UK for a mere nine cents a minute. Go ahead, call Japan for 14 cents a minute. Call all the way to Germany for just 15 cents a minute. But first call 1-800-860-6958 to sign up for the Worldwide Saver Plan and take advantage of these great low rates with just a $3 monthly fee. That's 1-800-860-6958. Of course, you'll also enjoy a great 10 cents state-to-state -state rate right here in the good old U.S. of A. These rates are good 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now that's long distance done right. Verizon. The new Big Brother contestants talk about using sex to win. Go behind the locked doors of the CIA, the agency, CBS Thursday this fall. Okay, Hal, let's make a deal here. You keep an open mind about who might have planted that bomb, and I'll work on my list of possible suspects. All right, I'll do that on one condition, that not one word of this makes it into your paper. On pain of death, Hal. Deal. <laughs> you know, I don't know where you get this reputation of being so stubborn. Mm. I can't believe I'm giving you carte blanche to prove that Craig Montgomery had nothing to do with what happened with Barbara. What's going on here? Oh, your dad. Your dad's a great cop. He's finally figuring out the case against Craig Montgomery's full of holes. She's joking, right? Dad! Honey, right now there is reasonable doubt concerning Craig. Are you insane all of a sudden? All I'm saying is there are certain aspects of this case that just don't make any sense. You're not even a cop anymore, Dad. Why don't you just step aside and let Jack or whoever else put Craig behind Forget bars? Me, Jennifer, don't be upset with your father, okay? I'm the one who's really putting him up to this. Why? Get an exclusive, Emily. No, sweetie, to get to the truth. Since when has the intruder cared about the truth? I just want to make sure the cops have the right guy. Otherwise, your mom could still be in danger. Look, I don't know what you're thinking, but if you want to go ahead and make all this as complicated as possible, knock yourself out. Just leave me out of it. Jennifer, I, I didn't come here to, to cause trouble between you and your father, all right? So just tell me, what's going to make you cool with this? I have no problem with you wanting to find out what really happened to my mom. I am just so sick of constant surprises. I know. So you want to be in on the loop, right? That's fine. Whatever happens, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. Can I go now? Sure, where you go? Keep your cell phone on. You handled that very well. Well, it wasn't that long ago that I was an angry teenager. Oh, that accounts for it. Oh, 
Wow, I gotta go. I gotta pick up Daniel and work on that list after the holiday. Yeah, you know, it is a holiday, isn't it? I keep forgetting. You know, other than poking at my conscience a little bit, you haven't mentioned how you're gonna spend it. I don't know. I haven't decided. Do you like the barbecue? Brian! I wasn't sure you'd come. I was curious, Dad. I haven't seen you since the wedding. Ah, yes. The one you and Jennifer tried to stop. Yeah, I wish I had. For Barbara's sake, at least. I don't like what you're suggesting, Brian. Yeah, and? What happened to Barbara was the act of a psychotic. All right, Dad, I see. Well, if that's all you had to say, then I'm... No, 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 no. We have to talk about your trust fund. It's coming due this week. Yeah, I know. It is. A lot of money. I want to make sure you have some idea how to handle that. You were the last person I would ever go to financial advice, Dad. Brian. This is your money. This is your financial future. I want you to be able to take hold of it and roll. All right? Huh? Now, Lucinda set it up, but you don't have to answer to her. I wasn't planning on answering to her. Okay, fine, but you still need a financial advisor. You need an accountant. You need to protect you from yourself. You've got to be able to manage it. You have to be able to Dad, invest what, are you, what are you doing? Are you applying for a job right now? Well, money is something I do know a little bit about. Huh? What, that's funny? You think that's funny? Do you have any idea how bad your timing is right now? Jen's mom, your so-called wife, is in a burn ICU unit right now, Dad. Nobody knows that she's going to make it through this thing alive. Look at you doing right now. I'm talking with my son. Yeah, you're soon to be rich, son, Dad. You know what? Just don't call me anymore. Just don't. I don't, I don't care about the money or you. Just. Don't, don't. Leave me alone. Right, right, right. Whenever you're ready, I'll be there. Everybody says that. Dad, do you have any concept of what being there really means, Dad? As long as you call me Dad, I'll get over that. Talk to your sister. Let her know that she's needed here, among the living, and that she has a daughter to raise. Since when did you decide to tell Emma about Holden and Luke? I couldn't help it. Just came out. She wasn't going to hear you, Lily. Yes, I know that. But I'm so sure that Luke and Holden are alive, I, I, I thought I could convince her. I didn't think we'd end up fighting. No, I could believe it. I mean, she doesn't want anybody coming over here telling her to hang up her black veil. She's not ready. I tried to tell her she doesn't have to mourn anymore. She has to have faith and hope against hope that everybody involved in this investigation is wrong. Everybody. I mean, that's a lot to ask of her. How could she turn her back on hope? It's not just that. I mean, she doesn't want you going off to Malta by yourself. You go over there, you know, you're on your little trail there. People find out that you're trying to look for Holden and Luke. Who knows who's going to pop up out of the woodwork? You mean Damien. No, I'm talking about the thugs. The thugs that are after Damien. The ones who shot up your house. I know it's dangerous. <laughs> They'll throw you around like a dollar chip at the craps table if it could lead to Damien. You don't think I should go? No, not until Lucinda gets back. We need the big guns here, okay? And Lucinda is like the Terminator. You could use her help. Mother's help is code for mother's interference. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, the woman is connected to everybody across the planet. She could level the playing field for you, maybe. No, not if she doesn't believe that Holden and Luke are still alive. She'll be the first person to try to convince me not to go find them. Your mother would do anything for you. Anything. <laughs> Whether she wants to or not. So you think I should wait till she gets back from New York before I go to Malta? What's one more day? Hmm? Feel better? How starved. Can't play the game on an empty stomach. I'm sure that's why those guys gave us... All this great food. It's all my favorite stuff again. That's the best part of the game. Get to build up healthy points so we can keep going. Yeah, but Dad, I'm a little bit worried. About what? About Mom. 
When she gets that message we sent in the bottle, she, she'll go to the wrong place. How is she supposed to play the game if she doesn't even know where we are? We don't even know where we are. That's why we got to figure out where we are. And then when we do, somehow we'll just have to let her know. I'll tell you what, why don't we look around, see if we can find any clues, OK? Just a bunch of, bunch of junk. Doesn't a master game player know that everything isn't quite what it seems? I guess. And every game level has a secret passageway or something, right? Yeah, but you have to have a key or something to then unlocks it. So how about this trunk right here? Oh, yeah. It's locked. Yeah, but we expected that, didn't we? There must be something inside this. So what are we gonna do? Bust it open? 100 game points for loot. Score. How are we gonna jimmy it? I'll find something. Jay Bush here at the Old Bush Family Farm to introduce our new country-style baked beans. Roll that new beautiful bean footage. They're slow cooked with extra brown sugar and hickory smoked bacon, so the sauce is thicker and the flavor is richer. The secret family recipe is known only to me and my dog, Duke. And I know I can trust him. OK, let's start the bidding on the secret family recipe. How does that have you in the corners of a little lady in the back of a man with a hand Duke. Uh-oh. Try Bush's new country-style baked beans. The adorable Curly Top, the indomitable Heidi, and the wonderfully precocious Baby Take a Bow. <laughs> Three Shirley Temple classic family films now available in this special edition Shirley Temple video collection. Oh my goodness. These are the original motion pictures, brilliantly restored for today's audience. Three tales of timeless family values, values of innocence. I wanted to talk to you about getting married. Of friendship. Lean on me. And of courage. When you look that way. It makes me want to cry. That will forever put a smile on your face, tears in your eyes, and a glow in your heart. And it's awfully nice, too. Generation after generation have taken this delightful curly-haired kid into their hearts. I'm not a kid, I'm a girl, and today is my birthday. Now, for a limited time, Hollywood's biggest little star is back for an encore. And the most crackers in my soup, monkeys and rabbits, loops a loop. This charming Shirley Temple video collection, including all three priceless motion pictures, is yours to treasure for only $29.98. Countless children have eagerly snuggled alongside their parents and grandparents to enjoy these life-affirming films. Now, through this special television offer, you can bring these heartwarming adventures into your home to share with a whole new generation of children. Oh, my duck does a wonderful trick. My duck can lay an egg. And just what is so wonderful about that? Well, can you lay an egg? Millions of videos have already been sold, and once they're gone, these treasured films will not be offered on video again. Experience the magic of Shirley Temple. Call now. Promise? Have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen now to order this special edition Shirley Temple video collection for only $29.98 plus shipping and handling. Or send a check or money order to the address shown. Call now. Television's most controversial show is back, Big Brother 2. Twelve strangers will live together, but once a week they'll kick someone out. Who will be the final housemate? Will it be William, the physician? I'm an expert in the field of young, hot women. Or Autumn, the aspiring singer. I kind of like shocking things. It's kind of my nature. Will it be Justin, the bartender? There's only one number one. I'm going to win it, and that's it. Or Cheryl, the interior designer. I absolutely love to flirt. Don't miss the all-new Big Brother 2, premiering CBS Thursday. Last time you were here, I wanted to say thanks. I don't, I don't think it quite came out right. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, I just don't get it. I mean, you've covered my back on a couple of occasions. I just don't get it. Don't look so confused, Al. <laughs> I mean, I just never figured that you would turn out to be my kind of guardian angel, you know? I told you that's what I'd be. 
Yeah, well, I figured that's when I was three sheets to the wind crawling in the gutter. Yeah, no, I, I like you a lot better like this. Tell me, how long do you angel types stay on any one particular given project? Gee, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check the manual. <laughs> but don't get too used to it, Hal. my wife I would be back in Bay City in time to marinate the chicken for the barbecue. My shorts? I'm immune to your charms. Let's make this quick before my association with you gets me divorced as well as disbarred. Trouble in paradise? You already told me that Barbara didn't know anything about the checks we wrote from the BRO account to purchase shares of worldwide stock, right? Correct. Problem? Well, uh, you... the check that you wrote to cover the bail cleared, so the word problem is relative. But I think you should know that counsel at BRO called, and um, as of this moment, they've frozen all access you have to Barbara's account. I beg your pardon? The well is run dry, Craig. Can't write any more checks. New Dixie Rinse and Reuse is pretty amazing, but can it stand up to the heat of a microwave? What do you think? New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. This is New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. These are some of its competitors. How do they hold up to heat and moisture? Well, you tell me. New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. What do real Save-A-Lot shoppers say about Save-A-Lot food stores? Save-A-Lot's quality is great and the prices are great. I can save $80 a week. I love Save a lot. Save on Del Monte vegetables. Three cans, 99 cents. Harkis House Vienna sausage. Three for 99 cents. Westcott vegetable oil, only 99 cents. And Banquet Pot Pies. Four varieties, three for 99 cents. I just wish we started shopping here a long time ago. Save a lot food stores. Great food, great prices. It's astonishing. It's breathtaking. It's the revolutionary GE Profile Arctica. The first refrigerator that can thaw a filet in half the time. It can even chill wine in minutes. Help keep lettuce naturally crisp and make extra ice extra fast. All while using up to 40% less energy, which makes your kitchen the one place it really belongs. The amazing GE Profile Arctica. The refrigerator rethought, reinvented, revolutionized. To demonstrate how quickly new Capstar kills fleas, we gave Herman a Capstar tablet 30 minutes ago. Observe. The fastest relief with no pesticide residue. It's Capstar. Comfort. It's what makes your baby happy. That's why there's Carnation Good Start, the only routine formula whose proteins are broken down to be easy to digest. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. Did you know Bengay increases blood flow at the site of application? It's scientifically proven to decrease minor arthritis pain, improve flexibility, and increase range of motion. And Ultra Strength Bengay has three pain relievers, more than any leading brand. Ultra Strength Bengay. He's been a college professor all his life. Hi, Professor Bickford. But for Max Bickford... You trying out for the team? Yeah, all the guys are. Raising a family will be his biggest education of all. I'm your father. Please tell me what I can do to Dad. help you. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfuss. See you nice shot. I just want to get good at it. The Education of Max Bickford. CBS Sunday this fall. You and I have been having problems, and I've been trying to figure out the cause. Me too. So what have you come up with? I just think we've been too obsessed with living our parents' lives instead of our own. Yeah, and it's been a complete waste of time. You know, you said you'd be here 
whenever I needed to talk, that I could come over any time. And look where I am. I'm, I'm here. When you need to talk. What if I really don't feel like talking anymore? I don't mind that either. Today's our Independence Day, right? All right? So why don't we celebrate our independence? Sounds good. What do you have in mind? We could, uh, hit this in his pool. I didn't bring a suit. Then we're definitely going swimming. <laughs> Sounding scary normal. I think we could actually just act our own age for once. Pretend we're not a couple of dysfunctional kids from dysfunctional families. <laughs> Why not? Let's live a little bit. Sound like a plan? Like a dream come true. Clear your head? Yes. I will wait for Lucinda to come back from New York before I go to Malta. Now look at that. You're taking advice from me. I'm gonna want to track down Emma. Maybe calm her down a little, but she'd be very happy to know that you're gonna wait for Lucinda. Rose. You believe that Holden and Luke are alive? Don't you? Almost as much as you do, Tiger Lily. You keep pushing. You'll find them. Oh, Holden. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing in the world. But I need something else. Another sign, something to convince people that you're still alive. I will fight for you and Luke by myself if I have to, but I really need your help. I'm getting a little bit tired. Can I lay down in your sleeping bag? Sure, buddy. Why don't you lay down right over there? You did it. Let me see. What's up? I don't know. Let's take a look. This stuff is cool. I like this. Let me see. There you go. Looks good. You know what, buddy? I bet we're in a storage room of an old theater. checks not gonna happen i have to pay back the loan on brian's trust that comes due this week why don't you sell off some of the worldwide stock that you've been piling up no that's corporate that's frozen too this has to come from a personal account craig go ahead write checks and then stand back and watch them bounce as high as this penthouse counsel from bro made their position very clear any attempt to access barbara's account will be blocked as a matter of fact they sent over copies of the Articles of Incorporation to prove that they have the juice to do it. What's the corporate office doing working on a holiday? You know, I asked that very question. Apparently some kind of high-level emergency meeting. <laughs> but... I'm sure. I'm sure that old snake is smooth. 
She just lost her son-in-law. She just lost her grandson. And Lucinda Walsh just had to fly to New York yesterday. And not to take in a Broadway show, I'm sure. No, she's not in mourning either. She knows I'm going to repay that trust. Well, I really wish I could help you rig a lot of this one. Sounds like fun, but I'm afraid you're on your own because I have chicken to marinate and fireworks to watch with three lovely ladies. Enjoy your barbecue. Stay away from the airport. Stop thinking so much. Craig, you're out on bail. That means you don't leave Oakdale and fly off to New York City to take on your ex-mother-in-law. And if I do? We never had this conversation. Thanks, Cass. Easy on the marinade. Listen, you tie. You can't beat me, Lucinda. You can try. But you can't beat me. Take one tablecloth, add the new extra crispy picnic feast from KFC, mm. and you've got a picnic anywhere. Ten pieces of the Colonel's new extra crispy chicken. Extra flavor on the inside and extra crunchy on the outside. Plus three delicious sides and six fresh biscuits, all for just $14.99. The new extra crispy picnic feast from KFC. It's only around for a limited time, and at $14.99, it's a great deal. So go ahead, have a picnic anywhere. long summer day. Make up for it with a blockbuster night. Enjoy your summer nights by renting Unbreakable on DVD. Are you ready for the truth? It's the suspense thriller starring Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Now guaranteed on DVD at Blockbuster. Bringing entertainment home all summer long. Lipton Cold Brew lets you enjoy the freshest iced tea anywhere there's water. I gotta let you in on a little secret. Some of our best clients are already saving big, and we want you to start saving too. You are so spoiled, you very seldom listen to your daddy about uh, no. the ex, correct? You're right. Okay. You're very good at this, very good. Oh, you are you. truly gifted. Why pay $4.99 a minute for psychic advice when we'll give it to you for less than $1 a minute? That's right, less than $1 a minute. And you'll never call another 900 number again. You'll get your reading on a free 800 number, baby. She dropped by it and has told you about it, right? Actually, yeah. Yeah. And it's the place with the little trees, and it's on a cul-de-sac. Right. This is amazing, me. It's okay, it amazes me every time I do it too. What you waiting for? And I have to be Citronella candles.